This video will show you how to create a frame-by-frame -frame animation inside of Flash. I'm going to create a new Flash file, ActionScript 3.0. When this comes up, you can see I have the timeline up here. Let me shrink this down so you can see everything else. This is the timeline. This is layer one. You can have multiple layers here. We're just going to deal with one layer right now. Over here in the timeline, you can see each of these individual frames. The frame number is up above the frame, so you can see how many frames there are. To change the number of frames that play per second, you click down here, double click on the 12 FPS, and you can change this to whatever frame rate you want. Uh, frame rate refers to how many individual pictures or scenes there are, not scenes, but individual pictures there are in every second. If you're watching movies at a movie theater, it's usually 24 frames per second. If you're watching TV, it's uh, 30 frames per second. And if you're watching something on the internet, it could vary. Usually animations are 12 to 15 frames per second on the internet. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this default at 12 frames per second. And with my uh, stage right here, I'm going to create a simple animation. First of all, I'm going to click on the brush, and I'm going to go down to just the corner. I'm going to change the color, choose a green. Let me bring my tools out a little bit more. So I'm going to change the color to green. Now. In my first frame, you can see it's an empty frame because there's a 0 or an O with nothing in it. When I draw on the stage, I just clicked. Notice how it fills it in uh, with a solid dot. What I want to do is copy this frame into the next frame and draw a little bit more. What I can do is go up to Insert, Timeline, and then I'm going to go into Blank Keyframe. Notice how this is a blank keyframe. There's nothing in it and there's nothing on the stage. I can click on the first frame. I'm, when I select the frame, it selects everything in the frame. I'm going to press Control C on the keyboard, which is the same as Edit Copy. Then I'm going to go up to Edit. Now, if you just press Control V, it's going to paste whatever you copied in the center of the stage. I want to paste it in place. So I can press Control Shift V or choose Edit Paste in Place. Notice how it makes a copy of the exact same um, frame. As the frame one is the same as frame two. Now I'm going to draw a little bit more. And instead of going through that process, I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard, which automatically duplicates everything in the frame and makes a new frame. And I'm going to draw a little bit more, F6. And I keep pressing F6 as I draw. I just want to draw a little bit at a time. If I draw too much, it will basically just look like it jumps. If you draw just little bits at a time, it will give it a more natural, more fluid motion. The more you draw at once, the more it will jump. So I'm just going and I'm drawing a little bit more. I'm actually going to draw more than I should, just so you can see how this animation will work. And after each time, I'm pressing F6 to make it look, uh, to move on, to copy everything and move on to the next frame. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep drawing. And right now, I'm at almost 20 seconds. So I'm not, I'm almost at two seconds. I'm at 20 frames, almost two seconds. And so I'm going to just kind of go through and add all of these. Now. I'm going to want to preview this from the beginning. I can click up on the playhead, which is that pink bar, and I can scrub through or drag my cursor through, or I can click at the beginning and press Enter. When I press Enter, you can see it creates an animation. Now I'm going to save this document. Uh, we should have done this at the beginning. I'm going to save it as my name and then frame by frame. I'll just call it my name and then frame animation. So file, save. I'm going to save this to the desktop inside a folder called Flash. So I'm going to call this my name Frame Animation. Now this saves it and I can go through and I can look at it. Now something I want to show you though, when you save a document in Flash, let me go to the desktop 
I'm going to go inside the flash folder. It saves the document as what's called an FLA or a flash file. The flash file, or the FLA as you can see it up here, will not play on the internet. It does not work that way. What you have to do is you have to publish this to create a SWF or small web file. To do that, you go up to File, Publish. Now you can choose the Publish settings and you can choose a number of different settings that you're going to create. I'm going to create just Flash, so I'm going to turn off HTML and it gives you options under Flash. I'm not going to go over those right now, but you can see there's a lot of different options that you can choose. I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to go File, Publish. When I publish it, it actually creates a second file and now this is the SWF. One thing I want to point out is the SWF is less than 7 kilobytes, it's 6.08 kilobytes, whereas the flash file is 160 kilobytes. So what flash does, and this is why flash is so universally used, is it compresses the, the, your animation um, quite a bit. So it goes from 160 kilobytes to less than seven kilobytes. So that's what makes Flash so powerful is it allows you to create animation, but it compresses them uh, quite a bit so that you can put them on the web. So this is how to create a simple frame-by-frame uh, -frame animation. You can see it's just something moving. Go ahead and create your own animation and then turn it in.